Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to get notifications. That lets YouTube know that we're doing the right thing. It costs you nothing and it helps us out a lot. So please go ahead and do that before we start this video. This video is brought to you by the Fast Tech Pro Auto Kit, which is an automatic screwdriver plus bit set that you need to disassemble any electronics device, including your Xbox, your PlayStation, your Apple iPhone, MacBook, you name it. Links in the description box and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Let's get started. Another video from Fast Tech. In this one, we're gonna be fixing a PlayStation 5 that's not accepting discs. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take this thing apart and get to the disk drive and fix any kind of disk drive related issues that you have, particularly with the disk drive alignment, which is what I feel like is wrong in this case. As you can see in this video here that I demonstrate, once you put a disk in, it makes that noise. I'm gonna be taking this PlayStation apart, taking out the disk drive and seeing if we can fix the problem. Let's get started. So here's our PS5 that has a disk drive alignment issue and it's not accepting any disks. The disk doesn't go in as I demonstrated earlier. How this broke, do not ask me, but we're gonna try to fix this issue today. First thing I'm gonna have to do is remove the stand. Get that stand off with this long ass screw that holds it in. Now we're gonna lay the PS5 down. We have to take these covers off. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're trying to access the disk drive, which is right here. So there's a few screws that we have to remove to get to that and a bunch of things have to come out, including the fan. Now we're gonna remove this cover that holds the connector for the fan. You can just lift it up like that. This is not a warranty sticker, so if you remove this, you're not gonna void your warranty, but this, which we have to remove later on, is a warranty sticker, but I'll get to that in a minute. We're gonna unplug the fan connector Wiggle and pull, and we're gonna disconnect the, the power cable for the disk drive. Now we're gonna remove the cover for the SSD. We're gonna switch to our Phillips bit and get that out of the way. Cover that comes off. Now let's switch back to our Torx T8H and we'll remove the screws for the fan cover. This one here is longer than this one, but we'll get to that when we reassemble the system. Shortest one is in this corner. I'm gonna lift up the cover for the fan, and now we can lift out the fan. And that's the PS5 fan right there. At this point, you'd wanna probably use the compressed air can bought from fasttechstore.com. We're gonna be removing these screws here Two of these screws are already missing. There's supposed to be screws here as well, but I'm gonna remove the rest of them. Uh, we've pretty much gotten all the screws that we need to remove except one screw that's hiding underneath this sticker here. Now this is the warranty sticker from Sony, so if you do open the sticker, 
in most countries this is considered a warranty sticker and you will lose your warranty so before you do this step please be aware of that so what you want to do is use a heat gun heat this seal or use a hair dryer if you don't have a heat gun and then you can gently peel it off to expose this, the last T9H screw that's in there. All right, so now that I've heated it up for a little bit, I should be able to take this off without putting the sticker. I gotta do it really slow. You don't you wanna take your time with this. There. I think I damaged it a little bit on this corner here. But other than that, it came out pretty clean. And there's the Torx T9H screw right there. So we're going to remove. Now this part's free, I can just pull it off and that part of the frame should come off. All right, at this point, we're gonna get the disc drive out. There's a ribbon cable here that we're gonna have to remove. You're gonna push down on this retaining clip and then gently pull out the cable, push down and it should come out like that. I'm gonna push it down all the way you're gonna see this piece go back. You don't wanna pull it out without pushing down on this, otherwise the cable's gonna be damaged. You just lift the disc drive out like that. All right, we're gonna take apart the disc drive by removing the screws. They're small black Phillips screws. There's two at the front here. And one on the side here. There's one more screw up here. tape on the side which we're gonna have to cut through now we're gonna remove these four Phillips screws on the top and again the screwdriver in this case should be a Phillips zero and a Phillips zero will work and a one will not work with these these are too small Now we should be able to separate the top of the disc drive. I'm gonna take the logic board out of the disc drive. This is a component you wanna be very careful with. This is, you should treat it just like you treat your main board. With care and respect, 
Because if this thing breaks, you're screwed. Your PS5 is never going to read this again. All right. Very carefully, we're going to lift the logic board out. All right. We're going to remove the logic board completely. There's a ribbon cable here. We're going to pull this one out. There's another cable here, which I imagine operates the top because it's uh, it's got two wires and that's how what those switches usually are. I'm gonna remove this. There's another ribbon cable here. I'm gonna pull that out. Up top here, we have a ribbon cable, but it's got a connector uh, that's got a clip. We're gonna lift it like that, pull the cable out. And now we got the logic board and the disk drive separated. I'm gonna take the disk drive apart. We're gonna take these Phillips screws out that hold the top of the disk drive in. All right, we're gonna lift it up like that. What happens is when you push a disc in, this switch goes all the way back, hits this switch, which hits this switch. And this goes back like this. And then this lifts up. But we have the lifting, which is not supposed to happen as right now anyways. So let's see what we can do to make this right. A quick reminder that GoPro cameras are pieces of shits because once again this camera even though it's supposed to do 4k 60 frames a second but when recording 4k 60 frames a second it seems to always freeze used to give a warning before but now it doesn't even do that when it shuts off but anyways I digress I'm gonna push down this cable again remove the disk drive one more time Hopefully the last time, at least on this system. Uh, let's change our approach a little bit. Let's leave the logic board in so I don't have to remove it again and again and again. In this disk drive, this doesn't, like the, I don't think the base does not raise itself. So maybe it is needed to be, instead of the first tooth, it needs to be on the second tooth. Because maybe it's not winding the way it's supposed to. So let's see. I'm not gonna put all of the screws in right now. I'm just gonna put a few. Because chances are we're gonna have to probably take it apart again. And then, boom. Let's try now. Cable in, make sure the clip here is pushed down. Da, 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 da. Still made that noise that I don't like. Doing something slightly different this time. Let's turn it over to see what what's actually going on. I'm gonna put something non-conductive underneath, like coil of tape, because I don't want it to touch anything. Let's see if it ejects. Oh, come on, spit it out. Give me my game back. Yeah, see what's happening is this magnet on the top of the disk drive is not where it's supposed to be. It is not. 
So I'm gonna open it while it's still running. I do not recommend that you guys at home do this. Because you're gonna make things most likely go boom. I have been doing this for 12, 13, 14, 15 years now, shit. Now that I think about it, South 16, so. I have experience that you don't, so do not be trying to do this while the system's open. So we're just gonna open the disk drive. Let's see if it wants to jack now. Nope, not doing nothing. Is the laser catching on? Is the laser trying to pick up? I think it did. Well, that's progress, I would say. For sure. Let's now try to fit on this without. Oh, so what we're gonna do is, yeah, pull that back. Push that down. Now that clicks in place. This has to go like this, remember? This has to go. When this goes here, that means there's a disc in here. That should have already been somewhere else. Da, 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 da. Go like this, da da da. Move this back. Move this out of the way. Magnet falls. There you go. Okay, I think we maybe got somewhere now. Let's see what we got this time. Boom! We fixed the disk drive, guys. Yes. Through fuckeries and experimenting and click clacking the way I did, I got it done. Now, I'm gonna eject it. Inject my disk drive, make sure it works before I seal the deal. There you go. So now it is working. And now I can start putting the screws back in. And close this thing up. Yes, perfect. Ooh, thank God. Let's go ahead and Remove the logic board. So that is what the disk drive should look like when it is aligned the way it's supposed to.
now let's install our working disk drive back into our PS5. Push the cable down. Now before I do close the case, I want to test it one more time. It's not doing that click noise that it did in the beginning every time it turned on, which is great. the disc but didn't read it this time that's odd what gives now as you can see guys the disc drive is spinning healthy and it's installing ashes cricket because I am a brown man so you would know that I'll be playing this cricket game. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I don't play cricket. This was actually a game that came with the system that we bought for the PS4. But it seems to be loading and copying. I'm going to try a different disc just to be safe. I'm going to try Need for Speed. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the worst Need for Speed they ever made. And I'm putting the disc upside down because the disc drive is upside down. And that's how they're put in, in these devices. Spinning healthy, as it should. Copying. And uh, looks like the disk drive is working. So now I'm gonna put it back together and start playing. Like the goddamn video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our website at fasttechstore.com if you need any PS5 parts, including disk drives, power buttons, fans, you name it. We got it all. Fasttechstore.com. Now back to the rest of the video. When you're testing, make sure you put the disc in like this because it might seem like it's supposed to go in like this, but it really goes in like this because the laser is facing downwards. So I'm telling you this info at the expense of looking silly because I don't want you guys to waste 10, 15 minutes figuring this out the way I did. So go ahead and smash the fucking like button, guys. I'm out here losing hair for you guys. Making these videos with a fucking GoPro that keeps turning off every five minutes without warning. We really soldiers out here. Now that we have all of the screws in for the disk drive, we're gonna do one final test. We already tested it on the TV. But you can never have too much testing. Especially when a console is going out of the country. Now we're gonna start installing everything back in. We have to remove this cable because it goes on top of the case. Like that. Tighten this one screw in the corner that I left in there. And, I, and one of these long ones we're gonna put in this corner right across here, all the way on the corner. Now let's reinstall this power cable for the disk drive. Route it through. Of 
click. There's one silver screw that goes in here. If you remember clearly, one tall black screw goes in here. This one goes in here. This screw goes in here. This one goes in here. We got this one goes in here. This silver screw goes in here. Now let's install the fan. Then we're gonna put this cover back on this side where the cable goes on here. The so cable runs under it. This long one goes in here. This one goes in here. This screw goes in here. And this one goes here. We're gonna reinstall our SSD cover. We're just gonna put the old busted up warranty sticker back on here. Did it for you guys, did it for you guys. Just remember that. Next time you don't press the subscribe button. Now we're gonna reattach the plastic grate. Just line it up and push down. Now we're gonna install this cover for the cables. Stick it on there. Now we're gonna attach this cover. Make sure it sits flush. Make sure you push it in downwards and then pop it in from the side, boom. Like a dislocated joint. Now we're gonna attach the stand. The back goes on first. And now we're just gonna reinstall the screw that holds it in. And now the job is done. And now, as you can see, I plugged it in onto my TV and it's running all the games and doing what it's supposed to do. So that's another video from Fast Tech, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel already, and click the bell so you don't miss another PS5 repair video. Also, check out my vlog channel in which I travel the world. Link for that is also gonna be in the description box, and I promise you won't be disappointed. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.